All right, well, I'm back at it again today. This will be my third trip in uh, three days. Zero fish to show for it. I'm up early. It's a cool day out today. Man, it's, it's probably like 60s, somewhere in there. It's August 21st, I believe. So, I gotta give it a try. I gotta get my hands on a scaly carp. I gotta do it, so. Uh, nothing earth shattering today. I'm in a totally new spot though. Um, and it looks awesome. It was a long, it was a long walk at six in the morning, but, uh, all my failed experiments, I've got, uh, some leftover pack bait to get me going quick today. I'm going to be using some pineapple tiger nuts, um, that I made myself. And, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to get baited up and cast it out and, uh, try to catch a fish so I'm just molding my pack bait around my method lead right now and uh, on two of these I just have fake corn for my hair I'm just taking this jar of tiger nuts with that pineapple juice I'm just dipping that corn in there just give it a little more flavor And I'm just pressing that hook down into the pack, and that's it. All right, I am set up. <laughs> uh, we all might be in for a ride this morning if I have to take off for a fish. I've got a steep drop off with just nothing but loose, wet river rock. So, I guess let's hope I go for a ride. <laughs> there are some massive carp just muddling around right off the shore up there. Two, three four, five, maybe six up, right up in there. Let's hope they come about right over here. Don't have far to go, just move that way. There's a juicy pineapple tiger nut waiting for you. Fish on. That was weird. So, saw a bunch of fish over by the shore. And I think I still see them. Just walked over to check my rods, pull a little line out to see if the bite alarms were working, and then boom, this one took off. I think it's an okay fish. Yeah, it's not bad. I see some debris that I could get into though. Oh boy, what a welcome view. A heck of a carp here. Man, this thing is, this thing is beautiful. Wow, it is a big one. I've never caught a carp this big at this body of water. Maybe coming to this new location was, uh, was the ticket. Man, look at that thing. That is awesome. So cool. Goodness, big tail right there. Man, what a bruiser, what a bruiser. Simmer down, buddy, simmer down, simmer down. I don't know, I'm not gonna weigh it. I'll bet you this is 15 pounds probably, um, at least. Not a PB, it's definitely not as big as some that I've caught, but it's a, it's a hog. 
I've got a few in the 25 pound range, so this isn't gonna quite match that, but this is a nice fish. I was just seeing all those fish in that corner. I think they might even still be there. So I'm not gonna mess around. I wanna get this guy back in the water. Just wanna take a couple of looks at it here. Man. That's kind of an interesting, uh, oh, don't get too excited here. Almost looks like a similar, somewhat similar to a ghost car, but it's got some real interesting looks in its, its face here. Well, I'm not gonna question results. I'm gonna put some uh, pineapple tigers on each one of my rods. Well, it's been pretty slow since I got that, uh, that hog of a carp. I haven't, haven't had any runs or anything, so I'm just rebaiting right now. And uh, had all those carp along the shore. I'm still seeing them quite a bit, actually. I can see one right now with it back out of the water. Decent sized one. So I moved my middle rod over here. Got my other two over here. And I'm moving this one over here. And I'm going to try to bomb this over kind of closer to where I'm seeing all these carp. Probably find a snag, but who knows. Well, that one didn't go where I want, so I guess you could say I uh, I spotted that area, right? Let's try this again. That's better. That's more what we're looking for. Fish on. It's been a while. Fish is headed the opposite way. That's where we want him to go. That's okay. I still haven't seen him. I don't know where it's going. Where are you going, buddy? Yeah, come back over here. It's a decent little fish. It's a decent little fish. That is in the net. All right. Yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Skinny carp, long skinny torpedo carp right here. Man, we'll talk about a total difference from my last one. But uh, just a long skinny guy. Look at that thing. I don't know if I've ever had one look like this. Look how long and skinny this thing is. Giant tail, pretty good sized shoulders up front, but just like a little tube. <laughs> Super long and skinny, put up a heck of a fun fight. Man, he was a, you know, that long tubular body, he was able to really kind of throw himself around, torpedoed around, kind of like a grass carp. They fight kind of strange, definitely. If you've ever caught one, you'll know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, fun little fish. They're loving those pineapple tiger nuts. I've only caught two, but it's a tough time of year to fish, so I'm happy for that. I caught this one along that shoreline where I moved that rod, where I was seeing all those carp get up out of the water. This is probably one of those guys right here that was doing that, so I finally coaxed him over. But, fun fish. See you later, dude. All right, well, two fish on the mat, so some nice quality carp, too. Um, wanted to take a minute just to Oh, we might get a bite here. 
saw my line just totally jump. Anyway, <laughs> you, you might get to see it happen. Um, anyway, so uh, this is an old gravel pit, sand pit, whatever you want to call it, that they, they used to, to take rock out of. It got done and you know filled with water and ends up being a really good place to fish. Uh, furthermore, it's close to a river, so when it floods, you get all the, the different uh, river species that get in here, uh, common carp being one of them, which is great for me. I, I love fishing these sand pits and these gravel pits, uh, especially when they're closer to rivers. And they generally are because that's where you get your sand and rock and things like that. So um, they just end up with the species of fish that, that I prefer to catch, carp, uh, buffalo, um, you know, grass carp, those types of things. Uh, and then obviously they're always good for catfish too. Um, today we have a, a very odd, for summer, for August, we have a very odd cool day. I mean, I don't think it's, it's probably right around 70 degrees, maybe even cooler. It, it is just gorgeous out right now. It's overcast, so the sun hasn't really done anything to change the temperature much um, from early at dawn when I got here. So these fish are are up in these shallow areas that I had showed you earlier. So they're up in there feeding, rooting around in the weeds and, and the shallow water. Normally they'd be way out in the deeper stuff that, that maybe I couldn't get to as easy. So they're uh, they're up shallow and it's it's really benefiting me. I was able to kind of see them, get the bait close to them, um, and uh, you know target them so you get some cool days in the summer months it can still be done uh, find those find those types of areas where they might come up and the water normally would be super hot it's not so bad and uh, they're gonna come check it out well as you can see the Sun has decided to come out and get through that overcast sky and we're feeling some of that August heat so and with that Guess what? The fish decided to get the heck out of here, so I think I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, two nice, beautiful carp munching on those pineapple tiger nuts today. Uh, had some fun, enjoyed some cool temperatures. I hope you did as well. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing, hit the bell, all that good stuff. As always, thanks for watching.